Okay, so this is our next property on the tour. We're getting ready for lunch, so we're trying to squeeze in a couple more. So this is like a raw shape inside, and he said that it's like, it's 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 one of his most um, trashed. So uh, it's on 28th Street. Purchase price was 13,500. Rehab estimate is 32,500. Um, they started with a new roof. Um, they put that on and turnkey cash flowed, rented to the occupant for a year. That occupant just kind of like ghosted them and just packed up and left in the middle of the night um, and, and did some damage to the interior. They uh, just kind of secured the property and it sat for a little while until they were ready to start doing renovations. The rental value um, fixed up Section 8 right now is $1,200 per month and they are, they are in a, expecting a 30% um, cash on cash return for what they have all in on it compared to what they can rent it for. That does not include the acquis uh, that does not include um, what the equity is in the property when they um, go to sell it. Square footage is 19,074. So this is a big house. Usually, you know, the thousand square foot is gonna be your baseline, your three, one thousand square foot, and this is almost double. So you just have to make sure that when you're looking at these properties, you're looking at the square feet and you're putting in that 30 to $35 of square footage for uh, rehab costs here in Alabama. And you're making sure that you have enough like the bible says you know you know don't be the fool who doesn't count the cost before building the the tower to find out that they can't finish because they don't have enough money so i highly misquoted that but you know you get the gist anyway so i'm going to take you inside bye